19 and 20 crossbred gilts of 49 letters sired by glory days we talked about a couple male pigs earlier there in the sale and a tremendous kind of a litter um very very excited to showcase these uh, sired by glory days uh, glory days would be the cinderella son sired by quite frankly a uh, hilding and sloan raised done a tremendous job here first crop on the ground opened up to the uh, the rest of the world, he was kind of closed down, sold some contracts on him. Pigs uh, surfaced and fed well first season. Uh, this is the first real season of pigs. Uh, these pigs have uh, uh, got to be opened up and excited about what he's done, and I think it matched up extremely well. Mother's a tricked-out godfather. It would be Emily Meyer's new house guilt. It was reserve grand at the 2023 Expo. Uh, there, uh, as I said, bred by new house. Goes back to that good sow line and done a tremendous job. She had a short litter last time. Uh, very, very good kind of a guilt came out of there and uh, um, that uh, I think's got a nice uh, uh, got a nice future there uh, a little bit uh, out of our last sale in the spring uh, this uh, this 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 litter here is pretty good and I think that we're going to start with a lot 19 49-3 uh, uh, this gill here has always stuck out uh, she is one that is very very stout and dense uh, uh, she's a crinkle-eared kind of a gill if that bugs you maybe look away it does not bug me I think it gives her character uh, she's very high quality she is as stout as you can make one just uh, looking at her root of her tail i mean she is uh, uh big time in terms of just density power she's a big arm gilt got a very useful kind of a hind leg the right kind of muscle pattern i think she opens up with good width underneath but still immature in her skeleton she's good looking up front she's balanced she's proportional market breeding i don't think it matters i think she's very very high quality uh because she's uh extended it about her head but still stout about her head uh love her uh, her angles and, and set off both ends of her skeleton she's good looking i think a very very high ceiling for that particular gilt it's going to be very dense and stout i think breeding value resale value when it's said and done could be awfully high in that lot 19 gilt uh, lot 20 is 49-16. Uh, the belted kind of painted up guild is one that's very flashy in her type and kind. A little rawler made than uh, maybe her sister, but uh, another one that uh, got a great silhouette from the side. Flags her tail, gives you a good uh, up-headed kind of look, going to stay strong on her front feet. If she needs to be a market guild, I think she's uh, she's built for that. If she needs to be a big 300-plus pound breeding guild, she's good there as well. I think just depending on when you're wanting to show her, uh, when you're wanting to feed her, and how you're wanting to feed her uh, would be her end indicators but another one balances up good shape good proportions good front feet uh, stays true in terms of squareness a little rawler than her sister a little bit bigger and more extended but I think when it's said and done it could be a very very good kind of a heavyweight breeding or market